Hello everyone, my name is Neil. And I'm Neil. Thank you so much for being here, Neil. Thank you for having me. What are we going to talk about today? The Mountain Dew Baja Blast. And what else? Caden's got some news for you. And finally, the Lib Dub. Thank you. All this and more on today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. All this and more on today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. Hey, that's my line. What's going on, Novi? Welcome back to my news to you. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a few things. We'll just hop right into it. First thing we're gonna be talking about is Star Wars Acolyte. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically just a live action show that takes place in the High Republic. And if you don't know what the High Republic is, that takes place a couple hundred years before the Skywalker saga, so before Phantom Menace, and we're gonna see a bunch of new characters. I'm excited for it. I really like the High Republic. I like the old, old Republic. This is going to be really cool. I can't wait to see these new characters and just see the stories that is about to be told. Next up, we're going to be talking about Spider-Man. We're going to be talking about Toby, Andrew, and Tom. All of their movies are going to be released from April to the start of June. And basically what's going to be happening with that is it's going to start off with the Toby movies and then they're going to release like one week a movie. It's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna see them in theaters again. That was that'll be really cool to see, especially the the Toby movies because I, I wasn't we weren't even born when that came out. I'll be sure to have the dates up as well. The Teen Titans are getting their own live action movie. It is confirmed the DCU will be doing Teen Titans. I wonder what team they're gonna do. They're probably gonna stick to the cla the classic team with Robin, Raven, Cyborg, Beast Boy, and Starfire. I think it'll be really cool and interesting to find out who they do for it. Marvel Studios has confirmed that a Nova project is in development. It's about time, we've been wanting this. I, I, I feel like we're gonna love it. If they get the right casting and they get the right producers, it'll be good. I like Nova as a character. I've seen him in like the Ultimate Spider-Man uh, show and all these other things. Nova's pretty cool. I hope you all learned something today and got some good news. We'll see you later, Nova. Hey Nova, this is Luke back again to give you some news about the Environmental Club. They'll be having their next meeting this Thursday, March 21st in room 184. You should come if you're interested in the environment, birds, or bird feeders, or if you're looking to learn about another way to get volunteer hours. All right, well, that's all I have for today. And as always, this is Luke signing off. What's up, Nova? Chinese Korean Club is having a meeting on Thursday, March 21st to talk about Chinese and Korean standardized testing and the stigma of mental health. It'll be held in room 247, so make sure to go check it out. Novi High School Creative Writing Club is hosting a Wildcat Creative Writing Contest. They encourage anyone and everyone to submit. You do not have to be a member of the Creative Writing Club to participate. Students should write whatever they want, whether it's a message you want to get out to the world, characters or a world you, that you want to create, or something that you want to share about yourself. The submission deadline is April 2nd, and there will be three winners. First prize is $60, and they will have the work published in Novi today. Novi's local news. Second is $30, and third place is a bundle of assorted candy. On screen, there's a flyer with a QR code to the submission application. You can also find the link in the Creative Writing Club's Instagram. Hey Novi, Crochet Interest Group is having its 8th meeting on March 21st in room 160 at 5 p.m. They will be making clovers, so make sure to bring a 4.5 millimeter hook and some green yarn. See you later, Novi. What's up, Wildcats? The student book group will be meeting on Thursday, April 4th in the Media Center Forum at 2.50 p.m. to discuss the book Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. All students are welcome to attend. Please contact Mrs. Bratney with any questions. Just a reminder that the lip dub will take place today in advisory. Make sure you first check in with your advisory teacher and also make sure you wear your Novi gear. Oh. Missile Latar starts recording at 125, and keep in mind that the route will end at the dome, so be there. And make sure to have your phone on flash and whip them around like you just don't care. See you there, Wildcats. All right, next we got Fanta in particular. We got Orange Fanta. And this one, this is a childhood drink for me. Whenever I would go to Chick-fil-A, I would always get Orange Fanta. It's really a classic, so I got to give it an S. Now, it's not the best out there, but it's still good. I would give it an A. So I have a number of things to say about Fanta. I, if, I, if you're going to go for an orange soda, Fanta is going to be the number one choice all the time. Now, there is a pretty big difference between glass bottle Fanta 
Fanta and canned Fanta. I am not a fan of canned Fanta. I think it tastes pretty bad. But glass bottle Fanta, I can chug those. Like those are like the best. So S. Hi guys, I'm, I'm here again. Honestly, orange Fanta, I like it. I'm not a big fan of orange drinks, but it's like one of the drinks I would drink. But if we're talking Fanta as a whole, green Fanta slaps. Let's be honest. I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, next we got Mountain Dew. This is what got me through summer camp. So I've got to give it an A. I think I've only had Mountain Dew like three times. It's not bad. It's really bad for you. <laughs> it's alright. I'll probably give it a B. Mountain Dew has mystical properties of healing. So, yes. Mountain Dew, I just gotta say. Sure, maybe it kills you, but Mountain Dew, they have so many flavors that they all slap. You know, that's an immediate S tier. Alright, next we got Mountain Dew Baja Blast. It's really good. I actually like it better than the original Mountain Dew. I gotta give it an S. Next we got is Mug, and this is personally in my top three favorite root beers. Like, I love Mug, and I, I grew up with it, and it just never gets old. Just never had a bad experience with it. This is the classic root beer, and for that reason alone, it gets an S. Root beer! S. Alright, next we got a Sprite, and this one to me is kind of like Coke, because it's an OG. It's not groundbreaking or anything. I would have to give this one a B. Sprite is very good, but it's kind of overrated. I would have to give Sprite an A. Sprite is literally fizzy water with, like, sugar in it, and it's really good. Sprite is just so simple, and I respect that. Last, we got Squirt, and this is another Sprite, like, cop-off, except it's, like, ten times <laughs> worse, okay? It's bearable. It's below mid for me. D. It's not as, as good as Sprite, but it's not horrible. I'll give it a C. Hey a glass of squirt and I honestly felt like I was going into cardiac arrest. It was the worst thing I have ever had. It, it's a Z. That concludes our soda tier list. Overall, Dr. Pepper is definitely the best drink out of, out of all of them. We'll see you guys later. Hey, Novi. Thanks for watching today's broadcast. We'll see you at the Lip Dub during advisory. Email us at nhscatsinews at gmail.com with your story ideas and we'll be sure to feature it on our next broadcast. Be sure to send it to this email and not Mr. Latart for the best chances of seeing your email. See you later, Novi.